greetings and welcome back to our Ethiopian run here on Victoria 3. As you can see, I have already initiated a war. Unfortunately, I had some problem with the recording, so you missed the first minutes of this, uh, of this episode. This is an Iron Man run, so I cannot simply go back and reload the previous save file, but it's completely fine because in the end, I was just talking a little bit uh, about what we have achieved until this point. We have a problem of infrastructure um, that we are currently trying to solve, um, discovering all the technologies that we will need in the future to unlock the railways then another problem that we have is that um, we are not productive with the iron mines uh, that we have um, created um, in the last episode here in the newly conquered state for that something that i was considering it was uh, changing the production method of the construction sec sector because then this will increase the internal demand of iron and it will make those iron mines uh, profitable i think i believe but the problem here is that uh, in order to move to the different uh, production method, we also need uh, to have another technology, which is urban planning. And uh, I'm not focusing there for the moment. And that's why then in the end, I was considering to maybe start a new war. Already in the previous episode, I was mentioning that I like this state here, Gojam. Uh, because it has a nice GDP and a nice amount of population and also a very high level of literacy. It should be a fair confrontation because if we take a look at their state, uh, you can see that basically in the politics they have peasant levies exactly like us. And in terms of um, army, they have a smaller amount of battalions. So let's hope that no one joins them. And of course, I jinxed it. Well, it joins them. And they have also a significant army. So at this point, we have a disadvantage. It will be difficult to defend us uh, on two fronts with the army that we have. But we will try our best. And here we have an event. Toth and action. The armed forces are dissatisfied with the inclusion of the intelligentsia in the Ethiopian government. I don't want to lose the support of armed forces. Definitely not before a war. Okay, let's damage the intelligence. I'm not happy with that, but let's do it. Respect the soldiers who protect your rights to pontificate. So now we can go here and mobilize all generals. And now let's check. Defensive strategist. Let's place the defensive strategist to defend the front with Wello. And then we use the other one instead to attack the front with Gojam. So war with Gojam has broken out and it sees from one side Ethiopia who wants to conquer Gojam and from the other side uh, Gojam together with Duello and they want to humiliate me. Looks like we are managing to keep one front intact. We're defending well against Duello but we are not making big progresses against uh, Gojam. Okay, we also have this event here, opposition members put forth demands. More pragmatically inclined members of the rural folk, currently opposed to the passing of colonial resettlement, have offered to change their stance were they to be offered certain political concessions. Such concessions will not be popular with the armed forces, however. And I will sacrifice uh, the enactment success of this law in order to support the armed forces because I want them definitely <laughs> on my side. Unfortunately, this means that we will drop to 10%. Okay, now we are pushing again into Gojam and still holding the border with Wello. Minus 15, come on guys, bring it home. Minus 76. And I think we might be able to conquer them. But I don't want to jinx it. Nah, but it's already almost there. Minus 91. Capitulation. Very good. I should have included also to conquer well in the <laughs> war goals and then have two territories in one shot but I, I think it's fine like this and now of course we will have to incorporate in 24 months the state we just conquered 
I think in the meantime we have incorporated, yes, Somaliland. Oh no, damn, we went 106. Ah, unlucky. Uh, so we will lose the interest, which means also that we will lose the possibility to create colonies, even if we will have this low past. That's extremely unfortunate, but maybe we will recover in the future. Crook connection. Frustrated with the lengthy legal process surrounding colonial resettlement, Negasi Cerecha of the armed forces has approached us with an offer to expedite the process, utilizing his personal connection within the state apparatus. Rural folk will lose uh, two points of interest, but at least the enactment time will decrease 20%. Let's do it, even though I mean I don't think that we will really be able to change anything here. And right now it's not even a priority because we are going to lose the interest on Nile anyway. You know what, let's go to urban planning first, because if we unlock this and it will take shorter because it's only 22 months then in this way we will have the possibility to change for example the production method of the construction sector and increase hopefully the demand of, uh, of iron and in this way will activate and enable basically the profit for the iron mines that we have open here in the southern part of the empire of ethiopia so that could help boost the economy and for the rail railway we can still wait a little bit more anyway it will be a long journey i think we will not pass the colonial resettlement at this round as well yeah but we failed also this round i think we should probably stop searching this um, law trying to unlock this law emperor intervenes in political process the emperor has taken a personal interest in the ongoing debate concerning colonial resettlement and have resolved to use his royal prerogative to ensure the law passes so I could improve of 20% enactment success chance. Rural folk will hate me as well as intelligentsia. Honestly, I think we should give up here. Advise the emperor against it. It will do more harm than good. And uh, we stop. We stop this. We have zero chances of passing this now. And it has no sense anyway because we have lost the interest. So. We, we cannot create new colonies anyway, even if we will pass the law, we will just piss off the population. The duel, let's see. Girma Solomon has challenged Ahmad e Abiza to a duel to death. So Girma or Girma is uh, hated, wow, minus 125, and belong to the Oriental Orthodox Church. And then we have Ahmad, who belongs to the Intelligentsia, yeah, this is very nice politician actually. This is cruel bandit. Wow. Let them fight. It's 50-50. We should stop that. And if we ban dueling, the intelligentsia gets plus two and the landowners minus two. Right now the landowners have a plus three, so let's avoid this option. I'm afraid that if we let them fight, then the guy from the church win, and I don't like him, but let's do. Exactly. The one from the intelligentsia who was a nice guy died. I'm actually wondering what kind of uh, man of church is a man of church who duels someone to death. <laughs> and I think I can bring now to the government the rural folk, because uh, now they have neutral minus three. Yes, it allows me. And we can try again with the army, the change in the army. Now the professional army has uh, more clout. 21.2%. Before it was the national militia that was having more clout compared to the professional army. Let's try to enact this against the odds. Despite not enjoying full rights under Ethiopian law, some wealthier Sunni people have begun moving into neighbors and frequenting establishment they will normally be excluded from. This is something that we have seen already. I think in, it was in the first episode of the series. Um, I don't want to increase the radicals, of course, for discrimination. And if I go for they have uh, fairly earned their success with uh, all the details, it will decrease. Of course, the interest group approval of Petit Bourgeoisie and Oriental Orthodox Church, but for the moment they can be sacrificed, they are not my priority. 
Unfortunately, we didn't manage to pass the professional army, but the success rate went up to uh, 31%. And then we have here a new event, Hidden Communities. Small communities of fugitive slaves hidden away in remote areas of uh, Ethiopian Gondor have begun and become targets of local slaveholders, fearing they could assist uh, in potential uprising. Hmm. I don't want to increase the radicals for discrimination, of course, but the other option will piss off the landowners. You currently have already minus one. And they still have a lot of clout. Let's go with the landowners. Urban planning unlocked, so theoretically we could already start uh, changing the production method for um, the construction, construction sector, but I don't want to do it now because uh, that will uh, change a lot of things in the, in the internal market. So for the moment, let's just keep this as a possibility. Let's move back to production and now It's either mechanical tools or atmospheric engine and the boat will take a long time, three years each. Another thing I would like to do at this point is to create a second university to speed up here the process. We have uh, the largest amount of population in Oromia where we already built a university. So now it's time, I think, to do the same in the Ethiopian Gondor. And we now have a professional army, finally. So we are the first country in this region that actually have a professional army. All the others have uh, armies of uh, peasants, basically. And I think now it's time to take out of the government again the rural folk, to be honest. Which will increase again the legitimacy of our government. And now let's take a closer look at this. We now have French here? Since when? I didn't notice before. I don't know if this was here, but I, I don't like this. <laughs> I definitely don't like this. It's a growing colony, so okay, it was not there. We might have problems in the future. Ah, uh, Because now France is... Uh, trying to pry into this area with this small colony here but we have to be careful french attitude towards us cautious again against the hods uh, i think that also in this case uh, we can piss off the petite bourgeoisie and the oriental orthodox church let's try again with the colonial resettlement 10 percent versus 13 percent Let's give it a try. Another duel, this time is between uh, um, a member of the landowners and... Ah, two from the landowners. It's fine for me, let them fight. Let's see, who died? The pacifist. Can support more declare interest. We went up in the ranks again. Very good. Let's insert again. Actually, no, I don't want to go into the Nile region this time. Let's go here and Zanji. Even though, of course, <laughs> we will have some conflict with France and Portugal in this way. But the reason why I think it might be interesting for us to target this area is because here there is Turkana, which is a country that has some coal. And this is something that we do not have and it's relatively close to us. So why not? Why not? If we will manage to pass the colonial resettlement now, it will be very good. Now that we have again the interest activated and we can actually start colonies. But Unfortunately, we have only 10% of chances of success, but fingers crossed. Yes, yes, we have it. Colonial resettlement is there, guys. And here there is a peace treaty between who? Is Ottoman Empire and Egypt. I'm not really sure why they're showing me this, but okay. 
The problem here is that now we do not have enough uh, bureaucracy because we have an additional institution. You can see it here. But it's completely fine. Um, I will say that probably we can end the episode here for today. We managed to go up uh, in the rank again after we have lost some position. We are again an unrecognized regional power, 44 rank. I'm very satisfied with this uh, episode because, uh, first of all, we managed to extend further our territories in a state that is full of people and full of uh, educated people, so it's, uh, it's not bad at all, and we already managed to incorporate them. And also because on top of the technology progresses we made, now we also managed in the course of this episode to unlock um, the institution of colonial affairs and also to pass the law for the professional army. So. I will say that things are looking nice also in this episode. It's the 23rd of February 1852 and there are still a ton of things to do in the next episode. I hope of course to see you there and if this will be the case, cheers guys, see you in the next video.